Hi, today I just want to go through the introduction on how to use or get the best out of these books. These are the updated special edition drum books. So what I've done is basically modernised them a bit, redone the audio, redone uh, the songs, just remixed them and made them a bit more interesting. And I've also rewritten some of the parts, moved some of the numbered exercises around so they work and flow a little bit better. So it's really good. It's got a few extra features in as well. So a really useful, great fun book to use. So what I want to do today is tell you how to use it and get the most out of it. Let's get into it. With the book, the uh, thing you probably want to focus on is just have a little look at the first few pages and then you will come across this section here, which is the past details. Now, the past details are basically um, how the book works. So what I've done, I've got the 99 tracks, three of them are songs on the website. They're free to download. So just click it. If you do it to your phone, just search in downloads and you'll find it there. Hang on to it though, because when you're downloading, it's a big file. It's over 108 megabytes. So if you close it, you'll lose some of the uh, tracks when downloading, it will stop. So just keep, keep the uh, app open or your phone open uh, so it downloads all of those files. So once you've done that, track one is number one, track six is number six, track 50 is number 50, really straightforward. What you would do is put the track on like this one here. It has four counts or four clicks. Then the drumming starts so you know what to play. And then after that, um, the drums drop out and it gives you four bars on your own. Now, it's um, most of the exercises are about eight uh, bars long. You only need to get seven out of the eight right and in time to put yourself a pass in here. You don't need to get eight perfect. We don't want to be here too long. Uh, we want to make this fun and don't get bored of doing the same thing. So that way it flows a bit better when you are uh, doing that method. Okay, so just tick it or put a pass when you've done that. And the same with teachers, if teachers are doing it, um, that's how I judge it, is just seven out of the eight bars. This is how it works. So you just basically go along. You might have passed the first five, not number six. You might go to seven to nine and then only 14 and then where you can see the, the gaps, you know the ones to practice, so it makes it so simple. So that's how uh, this section works. The extra features I've kind of put in, which you might want to try and use, is the practice log. I thought it might be a nice idea to write the date, what you did, and how long you did it for. So I recommend normally as a minimum two, say, 20-minute sessions a week, and then a lesson. So as long as you get that, you'll start to progress. Any less of your struggle, and obviously if you do more, even better. The other part of the book, which is used a lot and is key to progress, is these rudiments and coordination exercises. So rudiments are basically what they call the foundation of drumming. So most of the things, or near enough, all the things you do on the drums has connected to a rudiment, and all a rudiment is is a sticking exercise of some description. Those are in the book, and they're to be used once you get a little bit further in the book there's a note at the bottom to explain when to start doing those the coordination exercises kind of after the first page you want to start doing these now all drummers need great coordination so these are key to your progress and you must try and do one of those pages like a to h or i to p every time you go to practice. So just whiz through those and that will just accelerate your progress through this book. And this is kind of where the book is based on these exercises. And obviously when you do the rudiments, uh, pick one of those as well. So if you do four practices, you just want four separate pages. Don't do them all on the same same day. That really, really helps, as I say, because um, trying to use the foot pedals and the sticks together this just really really helps and as i say your left foot doesn't get used much at the beginning but in my book i want to make sure that you do use it so there's exercises for it so when you do use it it works really well and it you can use it um, similar to your right foot that is the uh, kind of the key to the book are those past details and the coordination exercises now you don't necessarily need a drum kit to start with this. I've had students that go up to book three without a drum kit. Obviously that's not ideal and their progress would be quicker if they had a drum kit. But if you see, I've got uh, another video which is stick control and foot control. Now with the 
exercises or most stuff in drumming you can literally just sort of tap on a table you can put your pillow under your foot and imagine that's the bass drum so you can get a bit creative if you haven't got a drum kit i do suggest you get a practice pad and that's uh basically just a, a piece of rubber on a bit of wood or something and that uh, you need to use with drumsticks so obviously buy some drumsticks as well and that is the sort of thing that every drummer has is a practice pad I have I've had one since I've been drumming and uh, all through the years I've always had a practice pad they're just so accessible so that you could be watching TV and you could just do some single strokes or double strokes or whatever you're doing um, as long as you're not with someone because that will annoy them but if you're on your own you can just use them it's, they're so accessible if you're a bit young you might want to sit up in your bedroom and just play rather than downstairs in front of the drums if you had a drum kit so even if you have a drum kit a practice pad is always used um, they're great to have and um, obviously getting the right sticks is in the next video and what to buy so that's about it so with these first books i've done a few videos as i said uh stick control foot control and uh, how to set up an electric kit as well because um that's what i'm finding with my students what they get stuck with so this is why i thought i would do these videos to really help once you bought the book actually and then after that i'll do a few more videos in the other books hopefully that will be enough to keep you occupied all right well thanks for watching again appreciate you buying the book and i really hope you enjoy it and i hope you get on with it let's uh let's see how you get on i'll see you in the next video take care